I welcome the fact the police are working with the OPCW. And has the Prime Minister taken the necessary steps under the Chemical Weapons Convention to make a formal request for evidence from the Russian government under Article 9.2? How has she responded to the Russian government's request for a sample of the agent used in the Salisbury attack to run its own tests? Has high-resolution trace analysis been run on a sample of the nerve agent, and has that revealed any evidence as to the location of its production or the identity of its perpetrators? And can the Prime Minister update the House on what conversations, if any, she has had with the Russian government? And while, and while suspending planned high-level contacts, does the Prime Minister agree that it is essential to maintain a robust dialogue with Russia in the interest of our own and wider international security? With many countries, Mr Speaker, speaking out, speaking out alongside us, the circumstances demand that we build an international consensus to address the use of chemical weapons. We should urge our international allies to join us and call on Russia to reveal without delay full details of its chemical weapons programme to the Organisation for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons. It is, as we on these benches have expressed before, a matter of huge regret that our country's diplomatic capacity has been stripped back with cuts of 25% in the last five years. It is, Mr. Speaker. It is, Mr. Speaker. Uh, the right honourable gentleman must be heard. There will be adequate opportunity for colleagues on both sides of the House to put questions. Members must be heard. Jeremy Corbyn. I couldn't understand a word of what the Foreign Secretary just said, Mr. Speaker, but his behaviour demeans his office. It is, in moments, it is in moments such as these that governments realise how vital strong diplomacy and political pressure are for our security and national interest. The measures we take have to be effective, not just for the long-term security of our citizens, but to secure a world free of chemical weapons.